where we had heart surgery at just five days old. The journey going from the, the unit to where the operating table was felt like a lifetime. It was horrendous. When we first met Dr. David Lloyd, um, he did a scan of our baby's heart and he told us what the diagnosis was, which was coarctation of the aorta. We didn't have an idea what that was at all. We was confused, concerned. The first initial scan we had, it was something potentially wrong with the bladder. Now we've been told there's some sort of potential heart condition. Dr. David Lloyd explained that we'd need to go up to London to have an MRI and that would be to look at baby's heart through me, um, which I think was a bit of a daunting. You think, how on earth can that, can that happen? David came in with his laptop. Um, we didn't know what kind of format he was going to show us a picture in. It's a complete 3D visual of his heart, and we, we was kind of taken back a little bit. And you could see how Rory's heart had kind of a, a, strange, a strange arc to it, and it kind of was contorted in a way that obviously needed help. It was quite emotional because I think it suddenly then made it very real and it, it was yeah, it was it was sort of there for you in, in black and white to see something that's so so precious inside, but actually have that 3D image of it in a way that you just wouldn't get otherwise was yeah, I think that sort of took us aback for a moment. Rory was born on the second of February at St Thomas's Hospital. Quite quickly after he was born, we got to say hello, have a little hug, um, and then he was taken off with Joe to go to the neonatal unit where they could put him on the medication that he needed to keep the duct in his heart open. After what felt like forever, my phone rang and it was the um, PICU ward saying that Rory was out of surgery and that we could go and see him. And I think I hung up the phone and um, after that I don't think I could speak for, for a little while. I think I'd sort of lost the ability. So I think I managed to give Joe a, a thumbs up and a sort of let's go. Um, and I think we did probably the briskest walk possible. I just want to say to David that all of his obviously hard work and research that's contributed to us being able to find out what was actually wrong with, with Rory. Um, it's just made a immeasurable difference. Without that kind of research, it could have been so much different. It's incredible the work that, that David and his team do, and I think before we were sort of involved with any of it, I had no idea that, that things like that were possible. Rory's here because of the BHF research and all the funding towards that, and I think that that just shows how important it is that that, that life from, from all angles can be preserved and, and protected because of all that research and I think it's, yeah, thank you.